Hi there and welcome to She Talk Systems. My name is Nicola Melinda and I am your host. And in today's video, I'm really excited. I'm going to walk you through how you can implement your team hiring and onboarding process using Just Dubsado. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video. And if you're using Dubsado, but you've not yet started to use it to manage your team process, then this video is definitely going to be really, really insightful. I'm going to walk you through how I have this set up in my own Dubsado and show you how you can do the same in your business. I'm a systems consultant. I work with online service providers and help them to organize and automate their internal processes so that they can operate more effectively in their business. So for those of you who are new to using Dubsado, if you haven't checked it out before, there is a link in the description and you can go and check it out. Dubsado offer like a forever free trial. So as long as you have less than three clients, you can use Dubsado and really get to use to the platform and how it works and really get to see if this is the right platform for you. So I'm going to dive into today's video. I'm going to show you how you can set up an application form, how you can connect that to your workflow and essentially all of the key points needed to ensure your new applicants are being onboarded onto your team with ease. Okay, so we are inside of Dubsado. As you can see, this is my recruitment workflow. And so essentially this workflow is going to be started when an applicant fills out an application form. So the application form that we'll actually be using is what we call in Dubsado a lead capture form. And so I have a contract application form in place right here. So within this application form, you're gonna use this as a way to gather key information from your prospective applicants to work with you. So in my business, I work with contractors. I don't yet work with employees. So some of the questions are going to be relevant for me hiring or bringing on board a new contractor. And so you'll definitely want to think about the questions that will be important for you to know before you decide to have a call with this individual to see whether they are a fit to work with you in your business and with your team. So as you can see, some of these are example questions that I've put in place. Why are you interested in working with Team NMC? Please share details of your current experience for the advertised role. I've asked to know about their goals. And in my business, we are system consultants. And so we are an agency. So it is important that the candidates who are coming through do actually have expertise using these tools. And it's also good to know what other experience they have. And then for me, I will always want to know what their hourly rate is and to know what their availability is and how soon they can start. And then you might want to add in a question where this is more of a personality fit question. I've seen lots of fun examples of how people have used this type of a question, but it's really just to get an understanding of the type of person you'll be working with and would you guys essentially vibe. So with the lead capture forms, if you're using Dubsado already, then you're probably familiar with how they work. Within the settings section, you are able to attach a workflow to the lead capture form. So as you can see, the form doesn't expire unless you do want to actually have an end date for these applications. Some people do that. I do that sometimes with my applications. So you can actually have a fixed expiration date and then just open up the form when you're ready to take on new recruits. I've attached it to my recruitment workflow which you saw initially and then I have just a quick message when they do fill out the form. So you'll see here that I have a project status so for those who complete this form these are candidates who are going to be put into a recruitment project status and what that means is that it's just going to organize them within the projects area inside of Dubsado for me. And then I've had just a submit the button send my application. So this is how I kickstart the process. So everyone who fills out this form essentially will be brought into Dubsado, put into an organised status in the project section, and they will have a workflow attached to them. So let's head back on over to the template workflows that we have, and I'm going to walk you through the next steps. 
Okay, so we are actually back inside the recruitment workflow. And so everything starts with the lead capture form. That's how we start this process and managing it. So as you can see, the first step in this process is I have to review the application for that particular contractor. Now you will get a notification via email that you have a new lead inside of your Dubsado. And then this is also another way just to prompt you that you do have to review the application form. Next, if they are a fit, then I will send them an appointment scheduler. So I'm also utilizing the Dubsado scheduler to help me actually book in those interviews. And so I have an email ready to invite that particular candidate to book an interview with me. So I like to keep it really lighthearted, really fun, let them know that we'd like to meet them. Because I'm working with contractors, obviously I don't want this to come across too employee-like. However, I still want to let them know that they are going through a process. So this is the first stage and you can see that I have an approval on this particular action and this approval is going to allow me to decide whether they are a fit or not. Now I do have an email that sends after the interview has been completed. With this step of the process you can send out an email just to let the candidates know that you enjoyed speaking with them and you will follow up with them. In my mind, this is really just a way of being professional and just letting them know what the step next stage is. You can also add in an email if they are not a fit to work with you. I don't have that here as I do have an email automation outside of this workflow. You could also add in an email step in this stage as well prior to the interview. If they are not a fit for the interview, you could definitely add that email into this workflow and that can send to any applicants who are just not a fit and you're not going to have an interview with them and just thank them for applying. However, if they are a fit, then you may want to actually prepare an offer letter and a contract for this particular contractor. So not all contractors have a contract and so they might send you theirs. If you have one for your business, for your agency, then you'll want to prepare that as well. And then you'll have an actual offer email in place. So this is actually a templated email that I've created for my business. And I use this with clients. They can use this as well. As you can see, there are highlighted points inside of this email that do need to be updated so that I can make sure this is customized for each candidate. So this is definitely an email that you can update every time you're onboarding or offering a role to a new team member. And again, it has an approval on it as well. So I would send this out first and then once that individual has confirmed they're happy to proceed, then you can send out your contract, which is your contractor's agreement. Have them sign it. And then you'll notice that once the contract is signed, I'm going to change the project status. So basically what I'm going to do is move that candidate from my lead and just the recruitment workflow. And I'm actually going to bring them into the job status as part of NMC team. So you can see that I'm actually going to update this, but only after they've signed the contractor's agreement. And then I have an onboarding email, and this is really welcoming them onto the team, letting them know how it's going to look working with us. So this is just sharing some key details of what they can expect, how we work. You'll notice I also have a team intake form. This is actually built within my ClickUp. So I like to just gather a couple of details, nothing too personal, but it just makes it a lot easier for me to manage that within ClickUp. So that's another way that you can combine the process between Dubsado and ClickUp. And then I once I've prepared the onboarding email, I just hit approve and send that out. And then I have a to do in place immediately after this email sends out to just make sure that I'm actually preparing the onboarding task within ClickUp for my new contractor and making sure they are all set up correctly. So I will talk about that for you guys in another video on how I use ClickUp to manage my team onboarding. Now, as you can see that I have some additional emails in place and these are all mapped against the start date. So within Dubsado, I am essentially going to use the contractor's start date as the project start date in Dubsado. So that's something I'm going to update when I'm onboarding them. And what will happen is that 
one week after they've started working with me, they're going to receive a weekly review email. So this is an email that actually houses a Google form, but it's essentially just to allow me to see how they're getting on. It's nothing too laborious for them, um, but it's really just to see if there's progress, if they need support and helps me to keep a track of what's happening with them as they are working. So we do this through the first 30 days of working together. So I have an email that sends out every week. And so as you can see one week after the start date two weeks after three four and then three weeks after the project start date I'm going to prep for their 30-day review call so I want to be sure that we are prepping for their 30-day review and then we can have that call and then once the 30 days have passed the next stage in the onboarding process is that I have a to-do to prep and schedule a 90-day review meeting with my contractor. And that's pretty much the workflow of how I use Dubsado to manage the hiring and onboarding process. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Definitely let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you. Would you incorporate this in your business? If you use other platforms, definitely share that. Let me know what you do to manage your team hiring process. If this is the first time you've watched the video and you've not yet subscribed, definitely hit subscribe and also drop a like as well. Let me know that you enjoyed this video. You're welcome to come and hang out with us in the She Talk Systems Facebook group where I dive in and share a bit more insights into how you can use platforms such as Dubsado and ClickUp to manage your business. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.